Selecting a lower cost MCU device will maximise your product's return, and this typically means choosing a device with the smallest amount of memory that can hold your product's firmware. However, you should keep in mind that during your project's development phase, you might require additional memory to perform debugging and experimentation. This webinar looks at reasons why this might be the case, and other memory related issues. Code you write rarely works as expected during initial testing. Code needs to be debugged, algorithms need to be refined, and timing needs to be tweaked. And this development is easier with the aid of tools such as the MPLAB ICD or RealLice in Circuit Emulator. However, these tools require system resources when they are acting as debuggers rather than programmers. If you think a debugger might be necessary, make sure your device has enough memory for your code and the debugger's debug executive. This might be additional program memory, data memory, or both. However, some newer devices have dedicated memory for the debug executive and do not relocate your program. Although only small amounts of additional memory are used, this can be significant on 8-bit devices. And you must always be careful not to manually place objects or code in the memory area reserved for a debugger. The memory resources required by a debugger are automatically reserved when you perform a debug build in the MPLAB X IDE so that your code and data will avoid these locations. Production builds will have access to all the device memory. To get an idea of the size and location of additional memory required for debugging, go to the Start page in the IDE. Click Learn and Discover, then Users Guide and Release Notes, which will open a web page in the browser you have configured in the IDE Preferences. The Reserved Resources for links will show you the requirements for all the device families. The MPLAB Realize in Circuit Emulator's Instrumented Trace and Log Facilities are useful when you need detailed information concerning the execution path of your code or how the value of expressions change over time. If you plan to use Instrumented Trace and Log, simple macros must be added to your program to initiate a data transfer to the debugger. Each macro consumes a small amount of additional program memory and uses larger data transfer routines which are also linked, just the once, into your code. Note that devices which support instruction trace, as opposed to instrumented trace, do not require these macros, and code size is unaffected when using these features. You can determine which trace is available for any device by opening the Hardware Tool Debug Features web page, which is distributed in the Feature Support directory under the MPLAB X IDE's Docs directory. The MPLAB Realize in Circuit Emulator and Microchip Power Monitor Board, in conjunction with function profiling information provided by the compiler, allow you to determine the energy requirements of your hardware running your firmware. To perform profiling, the compiler inserts a code sequence to communicate a function's entry and exit time. Thus, there are two sequences added to each function, including library functions, in your program. These added sequences will increase the code size of your program, and this can be significant if your project uses many small functions. Some optimizations might be disabled when profiling is used, further increasing the code size, and profiling might also consume a few bytes of data memory. Code might be shipped fully optimized, but to check the flow of your code or the state of variables when using the MPLAB X IDE, you might need to temporarily disable some of these optimizations. Typically, this might entail turning on the debug setting when using the MPLAB XC8 compiler, or choosing Global Optimization Level 1 with the other compilers. While optimizations are reduced, your code will use more program and data memory during this development phase. Remember too that when exploring ideas, it is common to temporarily add statements and variables and that these will also require additional memory. Your compiler will terminate compilation if the selected device runs out of memory. Since this is most likely to occur when targeting the smaller 8-bit devices, the MPLAB XC8 compiler has a special option to help you obtain an indication of the code or data size reductions required 
to fit an oversized program into a particular device. The MPLAB XC8 compiler option dash dash MaxiPick tells the compiler to generate code for a hypothetical device with the same physical core and peripherals as the selected device, but with the maximum allowable memory resources permitted by the device family. Use of this option will usually allow compilation to complete, so you can then check the listing and map files in the usual way. But it is important to note that although your project built without error, it will not execute on your selected device while this option is being used. There is one final point to be made when trying to estimate how much device memory you will need, and that is this. Not every single byte and word of device memory will be usable. This is because compilers do not allocate individual bytes. They allocate chunks of memory, and there will be holes around each memory boundary where the chunks can't be made to fit. This typically only affects devices whose memory is paged, such as the program and data memory on 8-bit PIC devices, and for such devices you might need more memory than a summation of the sizes of all your code sections might suggest. Manually placing objects or reserving memory in the middle of memory regions creates further divisions and increases the chance of you seeing out of memory errors when there is apparently enough memory remaining to fit your program. So you should avoid allocating objects like this whenever possible. Hopefully all these points will show why a little extra memory might be required when developing code and that they should be taken into consideration when choosing a device for your project and your prototype hardware.